So we're at the 1865, and now I'm joined by Ben Brown. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you very much for um, coming to interview me. That's all right. No worries. So you've only got an EP with four songs on it so far. So you're very new to being a solo artist, aren't you? Well, I've been a solo artist um, performing unrecorded material for quite a while, uh, and it took Frank Turner to kind of record it to actually put it onto a CD or record or whatever and um, get out there, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, because, yeah, we'll get on to that because you were supporting him tonight at the 1865. So how did you guys then meet then? Um, my my initial meeting with Frank was a chance one, really. Um, I was actually performing at a barbecue um, on Mersey Island, which is where he moved uh, in the pandemic. And he was, I think he was recording a record with a band called Pet Needs. And they had finished the recording. They came along to the barbecue and he caught the end of my set and then said... I'll, I'll record your songs and after a few kind of like texts that happened I was in his back garden recording studio and we recorded a record that's amazing I like that it's gonna be one of the most unusual stories how did you meet someone at barbecue I was playing yeah. he rocked up took a burger went I like that yeah <laughs> yeah it was quite um yeah just like stroke of luck really so you were in bands beforehand why did you decide to go solo solo I've always I've always been perf- performing um solo oh. Uh, in the background but bands have kind of been my priority I guess I've always prioritised but I've always put my kind of solo stuff kind of on the back burner because being in bands is fun and you always got other people to kind of say let's do this let's do that and it's kind of it's harder to motivate yourself but what then meeting Frank at the barbecue he motivated me to actually record the stuff so yeah that's kind of why I've why I've done it really because someone's actually told me to do it <laughs> that's about right I think so it's just you just needed that motivation someone to actually go you yeah, know this is good why are you not pursuing yeah. this yeah because sometimes it's quite hard to motivate yourself and I like with certain things sometimes you need a partner or a friend or just someone random to say oh why don't you try this or let's do this or I'll, I'll help you do this um on your own you can sometimes think oh that'd be nice to do and then you kind of do something else yeah no i completely get what you mean it's, it's a lot because when you say oh nah i'll do it tomorrow that's always the thing so w- were you a fan of frank when he just approached you and was like hi i would heard his music before but i hadn't listened to like lots and lots and lots of it i've like heard i'd heard him on spotify and so yeah but what what really struck me about um frank from working with him was his kind of like the way he kind of approached the work if that makes sense it's like just seriously working like day in day out and making stuff happen and i found that really inspiring he kind of um every day i showed up he was already working on something or working on something to do with his own music and i think that there's this like misconception that artists kind of just have ideas and then everything just happens it's, there's this kind of so much work like even being on this tour you see everything that's going on in the background the team that like are making everything happen for, like it's kind of yeah, that's that's been that's been kind of the most inspiring and and exciting new revelation. I I've always kind of like worked hard, but maybe a bit more of like a busy idiot if that makes sense. But seeing people who are like talented and kind of put the effort in and f- that focus has kind of been quite inspiring. Yeah, so this is a well-oiled machine. They've been doing this for quite, and I don't think he ever stops. I think he's one of those people that even when he's not on the road, he's like yeah, he's now producing. He's like oh yeah, I, I can't tour. What do build a studio? <laughs> Yeah, must be like yeah, just kind of. I suppose he's he's been doing it for many many years, hasn't he? And he's always he's been it seems like he's been a musician for most of his adult life, and then this world has built around like been built around, and he's built this kind of like Frank Turner world, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, yeah. For, and he's welcomed me into a shed, and well, not shed. He's recording <laughs> his recording studio, and we've made a, made a record. So I'm very very um, grateful for that. Yeah, he welcomed me into his shed, and then we have four songs, <laughs> yeah. and no more is said. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously you're going to be new to a lot of people. So what can someone expect from you? It's like who were your like your sort of main sort of inspirations that you draw from when you're coming up with with your writing? When I come up with my writing, um, to be honest, the, my, most of the stuff that I enjoy when I'm what I enjoy from performing is the connection with people and the feeling of being really in the moment and the feeling of kind of um, walking. A, even though I've rehearsed and I've, you, you'll see tonight, like the songs are quite well put together and I hopefully deliver them well but I like to kind of keep the um, walk kind of like fine line of kind of safety and unpredictability if that makes sense and that's what I find inspiring I suppose like the randomness of um, experiences with people and the randomness of life I guess is kind of my inspiration so my songs are kind of pulled up from uh, like myriad of different ideas or feelings rather than one concrete idea often if that makes sense 
Uh, yeah, that does make sense. Because like I've listened to the EP a, a few times now. Oh, cool! And it, it's it's really cool. So it's nice. It's nice and chilled out. So is that the sort of vibe you're going to be pursuing with, or is, is there any idea of maybe getting more instruments involved, things, or are you going to keep it as kind of as as it's presented so far? Well, so live, what I what I find most thrilling thrilling at the moment is um, bringing trying to bring the volume right down and trying to hold trying to hold the attention of a large group of people. Um, I've been in, well, I, I perform in bands which are almost like performance art rock bands type thing. And it's all like loud distorted guitars and dance routines, crowd surfing, and like some kind of like challenging behaviors, I guess, <laughs> that, 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 that the audience seems to kind of enjoy. Um, so now now I'm kind of, the, the, the thrill is to kind of go as quiet and as small as possible and play with this see if I can hold this bass. So you'll see that. So if you've heard the EP that you hear there's some kind of like kind of like light production of like drum machines and some guitars and stuff like that. But live, it's just kind of an acoustic and there's one drum machine at the end. But yeah, I would like to kind of bring it right down. And then if if I had a kind of long game, would kind of like to build back up to kind of um, a mixture of kind of this quietness and then maybe more arrangements with bringing other people on board to play the drums or that kind of stuff ultimately maybe in, in five years time or something like that but at the moment i need to make it work with just me and my partner and try and get like sell t-shirts and kind of like get it across the line that way if that makes sense financially i was gonna say with the bring it down low thing we saw um bears in bears den and they literally unplugged came down into the middle of the crowd and did from the clouds of, from pompeii above the clouds of pompeii and that was you could hear a pin drop everyone was just pure silent it was yeah. quite a magical moment the fact that to control a room like that I think it's really I think it's that's more difficult yeah. than a singer song like big everyone screaming along yeah that's what I've that's what I've um, found and that's what I'm that's the, my challenge with these bigger dates because um, I've, I've played big shows with loud guitars and stuff like that and kind of hype people up but man trying to keep 450 to up to a thousand people on on your side and listening for a whole set that's a that that's a challenge and it's one that feels quite exciting and sometimes if they're talking you might you have to kind of battle with yourself and see oh how do i address this how do i so uh, our last show for example i went on stage it was a big audience and the lights on me were up and the lights in the audience were down so i couldn't see anyone and it felt like i could hear like chattering and, and it felt kind of bit lonely so i asked for the, the house lights to go up so i could kind of keep a kind of like almost watchman's eye over the almost like stalking my prey and keeping them kind of <laughs> under under my like gaze almost like kind of a teacher or something which is all all part of stage craft and kind of i guess if you're going to try and level up as an artist you have to kind of learn these tricks and skills and yeah and i mean we'll see how it goes tonight <laughs> you yeah. have to let me know also think yeah especially because if you are doing you know the softer side of things having the lights up will help because there is that connection because i think when it is loud you know frank playing you know it's, it's a, you know it's in your face like it's hard to even when the lights are down it's hard to not pay attention to it but yeah if it's just you're in darkness and then there's nice acoustic music going on, like oh this is nice it's chill and i'll just you, know, you kind of yeah so get that connection is that's the, yeah i like that that's the key point which is yeah. the difficult yeah bit. trying to kind of get this human trying to get this human connect and then i found if i can bring it really right down and get hold their attention with these kind of like soft songs the stuff that i say in between the songs i can say whatever i want so i'll kind of say stuff that maybe might not be um expected to be said <laughs> if that makes so i try and juxtapose the um the gentleness and the, the softness of the the music with kind of a playful ban no, not ban yeah maybe banter i guess or yeah. chat or whatever in between so trying to keep and trying to ba trying to balance those for 30 minutes is my is my um like juggling act in a way so obviously so we've got the ep obviously you've got this tour at the moment so what is the next step for you after this tour ends so the next step is to um there's going to be an extended ep so i've recorded some more um, tracks with frank that's going to be on um, a vinyl in november and then to start recording kind of my next release after that i guess for the new year which seems like a long time away but hopefully hopefully i'd like to get a, like a booking agent on board and start kind of just kind of playing and playing and playing and building up this like building on kind of this opportunity which i've been given to like reach new people and create a fan base and stuff like that yeah. and go, try and maybe go over some of the towns we've been to at like slightly smaller venues and kind of like solidify those connections and yeah try and create kind of a 
career as an artist, I guess. This is really exciting. So it's, it's a proper, fresh, new, exciting like journey that you're on. And it's quite exciting to be at the very start of it as well. Oh. Um, it's, it's quite cool. And yeah, so we're looking forward to seeing you tonight as well. Then I, I mean, always find it crazy when you speak to someone. They're like, yeah, so I've already got this for November. And then looking at new music in the new year, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing next week half well, the time. <laughs> no, me neither. I don't, I don't normally. And that's, that's with, um, that's uh, Catalina's massive, my partner's massively helped me with all of this. And having the um, Extra Mile team on board has kind of given it a bit of like, structure Some, sometimes maybe like most people i'll know i have so many things to do and i won't even know where to start so sometimes it's helpful having this team of people saying well you need to do this right now like for example meet you that needs to happen right now and at this time but these things are happening in the future and you need to work towards it's just giving it a bit of um structure which has been yeah that's been really helpful no it's, it's really exciting and i'm glad we got to to catch up and really looking forward to seeing you tonight yeah i look forward to seeing you out there <laughs> cheers thank you <laughs> thank you